Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, director of the Detroit Lakes Public Library, and today I would like to talk about book discussions here at the library and some staff picks. So every month on the third Tuesday of the month we have a book discussion here at the library. Everyone is invited. If you've read the book that's great, come and discuss it. If you want to hear about the books you can decide if you want to read it, that's fine too. But you may be wondering how do we decide what to read? Well it's a combination of things. Sometimes our books come from staff suggestions, sometimes the group itself makes suggestions and we will be deciding that for future months in the near future. So if you're interested and you say I'd love to go to that library book discussion but they never are discussing anything I want to talk about come and tell me what you would like to talk about what books would you like to discuss what are you just dying to talk about and we'll put it on the list um, coming up I have three books to talk to you about uh, in upcoming months we'll be discussing Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance this is a nonfiction book it's part memoir part political commentary by a conservative uh, author who is trying to convey why he believes Trump won in the blue-collar world. He himself is descended from hillbillies in Kentucky and southern Ohio and he thinks he knows why Trump won big time with that population which probably wasn't his natural constituency. Um, interesting book. I disagreed with some of his uh, determinations, but we will be talking about it. Love to hear your take on it. After that, we will be talking about Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. This was a lovely book uh, of a great literary merit, I thought. This is the cover of Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk. It's basically a story, it's a novel, but couched as kind of a memoir. It's written in first person. Lillian Boxfish is supposedly the highest paid advertising woman of the 1930s. She worked for J for uh, Macy's, the big Macy's company. Of course it's fiction, but it is based on the life of a real person. And uh, Lillian takes a walk around New York City in about 1988. And uh, I love New York. I love to visit there. And I could just see every place she was going. I think the first time I visited New York was about 1986. So I can picture the time frame. Anyway, it's a, a wonderful literary work, a lot to discuss, and we'll be talking about that. This is one of my picks from the staff. And then the next month we'll be reading Give a Girl a Knife by Amy Thielen. This is Amy's memoir. Amy is from the Park Rapids area. She is a chef. She's had a show on uh, the Food Network, I understand. Anyway, she'll be speaking at the library, at the Library Club on August 22nd at 2 p.m. So we're discussing her book, Give a Girl a Knife. Um, other things that staff have recommended just lately. Um, this one is a, a recommendation by one of our staff, Paula. The Girl with All the Gifts is sort of a dystopian uh, zombie novel. Children are infected with the zombie virus. Zombies are called hungries in this book. And they're trying to keep the children from actually turning into zombies. And for some reason, they don't. Um, but she thought it was a really fun book, a great read for those of you who enjoy the dystopian literature. And then this one, Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson, is a memoir or an autobiography. I understand it's also furiously funny, according to the staff person who recommended it. Jenny suffers from bipolar disorder and apparently she's able to make you laugh a lot about such things. She thought it was hilarious and the, the raccoon on the cover is a depiction of a stuffed raccoon that she was given as a gift by a friend and they try and uh, make the cat the, raccoon, the stuffed raccoon ride her cat. So, I mean, it sounds pretty funny to me. Next on the list, Star Wars Kenobi. This is a, a Star Wars book. Um, this is the audio book, but we also do have the print version of this. Obi-Wan Kenobi brings baby Luke to Tatooine and watches over him and uh, has to deal with sand people and all kinds of dangers and becomes Ben Kenobi instead of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you really enjoy this one. Behind Closed Doors, uh, this has gotten great reviews, another literary novel. Um, Story, story. If you liked Gone Girl or The Girl on the Train, I understand you'll love Behind Closed Doors. Highly recommended by staff. And lastly, we have Penance 
um, by a Japanese author set in Japan about five little Japanese girls. It's kind of a mystery, kind of a suspenseful, very twisted as I understand it. If you like twisted novels, you'll love Penance. So I think that pretty much takes us to the end of Staff Picks. And if you want any information about coming to the library book discussions, give us a call at 218-847-2168. And come to the library and check it out. <laughs>